Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Jeff Shell resigns as CEO of NBC Universal following investigation. Comcast, the parent company of NBC Universal, announced that Jeff Shell would be departing from his role as CEO following an investigation into allegations of engaging in an inappropriate relationship with a female colleague within the company. On Sunday, Comcast, the owner of NBC Universal, released a statement announcing that Jeff Shell, the current CEO, would be departing from the company following an investigation into an inappropriate workplace relationship. In his own statement, Mr. Shell acknowledged that Sunday would be his last day and expressed remorse for his actions, apologizing to his colleagues at Comcast and NBC Universal for letting them down. The statement did not provide any information on who would succeed Mr. Shell as CEO of NBC Universal, a position he held since 2020. In a communication to employees on Sunday, Brian Roberts, the CEO of Comcast, announced that following Jeff Shell's departure from NBC Universal, his senior team would report to Mike Kavanaugh, the president of Comcast. This move effectively puts Mr. Kavanaugh in charge of NBC Universal. Mr. Roberts expressed his disappointment in a statement to employees on Sunday, stating, We are disappointed to share this news with you. We built this company on a culture of integrity, and nothing is more important than how we treat each other. The news of Mr. Shell's departure from NBC Universal quickly spread across New York and Hollywood, where he oversaw Comcast's sprawling entertainment empire. His exit is particularly significant for Comcast, as the company navigates the complex transition from traditional TV and cable businesses to a future dominated by streaming video, broadband internet, and wireless services. Although NBC Universal's streaming service, Peacock, has gained some momentum in recent months, it remains much smaller than its competitors. With just over 20 million paid subscribers, Peacock lags far behind Netflix, 232 million, and the offerings of Warner Brothers Discovery, which include HBO Max and Discovery Plus, 96 million. As with many other major media companies, the streaming business of NBC Universal is still incurring losses, with Peacock having lost around $2.5 billion last year and projected to lose another $3 billion this year. In addition to Peacock, NBC Universal owns several cable networks, including Bravo, E, MSNBC, and USA. These networks are currently facing a decline in traditional TV viewership. The investigation into Mr. Shell's inappropriate workplace relationship began after a woman involved in the relationship lodged a complaint, according to two sources. Mr. Shell continued to fulfill his duties while the investigation was ongoing, attending meetings in Washington and other business matters. Mr. Shell was even scheduled to attend the White House Correspondents Association dinner with his wife next weekend. The investigation was conducted by an outside law firm and was not widely known throughout Comcast until its conclusion. Mr. Roberts and Mr. Kavanaugh called executives who worked directly with Mr. Shell over the weekend to inform them of his departure and the leadership transition. Universal Pictures, while not the largest movie studio in Hollywood, has been successful. Some of its highlights from 2022 include Jurassic World, Dominion and Minions, Rise of Gru. The year 2023 began with a strong start, as the Super Mario Brothers movie grossed nearly $900 million worldwide in just three weekends, making it the highest-grossing animated film in the company's history. Other highly anticipated films slated for release this year include the 10th Fast and Furious film and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer about the famous nuclear physicist. Universal Pictures has also started using a flexible distribution strategy that staggers the release of bigger films between theaters and its streaming service, Peacock. For smaller titles, simultaneous theatrical and streaming debuts are planned, such as with Marry Me, starring Jennifer Lopez, and the horror film Firestarter, both released in 2022. Universal's theme parks have also been a bright spot with record profits last year due to higher attendance and guest spending. The company is planning to open theme parks in Las Vegas and Frisco, Texas in the next few years. 
The company is set to report quarterly earnings this week, which will be closely watched.